Hello and welcome to Skills and Trade. My name is Tyler and today I'm going to show you how to wire a half switched receptacle. These are the kinds of receptacles where when you walk in your house you flip a switch it'll activate the bottom portion of the receptacle. Now that's a half switch receptacle. Sometimes they're called a half hot receptacle. The first thing we're going to do is turn off the circuit breaker. We have power coming into the first box where the receptacle is going to be. This is the 14-2 with ground. That means there are two conductors. We have a black hot conductor, a white neutral conductor, and a bare ground wire. This is the cable coming into the box providing power. Leaving the first switch box, we have a 14-3 with ground cable. That means there are three conductors, which means two hot wires, the red and the black, and the white neutral conductor, plus one bare ground wire. Then over here in the switch box, we're going to have the same, uh, the 14-3 with ground cable. First thing I'm going to do is uh, get these grounds together. We have a ground coming up here from the power cable. We have a ground right here from the cable that goes over to the switch box. I'm going to twist all these together and splice them and use a green wire nut. Now, I'll take the ground wire and go around the green terminal in a clockwise manner and crimp it and tighten it down securely. Now I'll take the neutral wire from the power cable and I'm going to connect it to one of the silver terminals. I'll crimp that down and tighten it down securely. Now I'm going to take the white wire that comes from the cable that goes to the switch box and I'm going to connect it to the other silver terminal. I'll go around the terminal in a clockwise manner. Crimp it and tighten it down securely. Now we've taken care of the grounds and the neutrals. This is a standard duplex receptacle. We have the silver terminals, which is the neutral side, and the bronze terminals, which is the hot side. So we're going to break this tab right here in between the bronze terminals. I'll take my needles pliers, grab it, and just work it back and forth. The tab is broken, so the connection between these two bronze terminals is also broken. This receptacle on top will be hot all the time. But the receptacle on bottom will only be hot when the switch is on. We have broken the connection between the two bronze terminals. We have a hot wire that's always going to be hot to the upper bronze terminal, which will be the top part of the receptacle. Here we have a red wire, which will provide power in a switch manner from this switch for the lower part of the receptacle. We can do all this because we broke the connection between the two bronze terminals. What we're going to do is we're going to make this upper half hot all the time. To do that, I'm going to take the hot wire coming in and the black wire going out. Now I'm going to splice them with the black pigtail, then connect the black wire to the upper bronze terminal. We're going to use this red wire as the switch wire. I'm going to attach the red switch wire to this bronze terminal and it's going to be controlled by the switch. The lower half of this receptacle will be turned on and off by the switch. We're moving over to the switch box where we're going to put the switch. Now we're going to connect the ground wire to the switch. I'm going to put the ground wire around the grain terminal in a clockwise manner, grip it, and tighten down securely. Now here's the neutral. Since 2011 it has been code that you always have to provide a switch box with the neutral. Since it will not be used in the box, I will simply put a wire nut on the neutral and place it in the back of the box. Here we have the two wires. This wire is going to be hot all the time, and this wire is the switch wire that will go to the bottom of the receptacle. I'll put the black wire around this bronze terminal, I'll tighten it down, then I'll take the red wire and I'll tighten that down. I have turned on the circuit breaker. Now let's plug in a light, which will work in the same way as a house lamp. When the light is plugged into the lower portion of the receptacle, it is subject to the control of the switch. When that same light is plugged into the upper receptacle, it is on all the time. I just want to thank you all so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for new videos. Please leave a comment down in the comment box and have a wonderful day.